Hey there, John from the Crafting Brothers here. Uh, about a month ago, I made a video on modular castle walls. And then my brother sort of reminded me, these are cool, but in my game, what if something like this happens? So I realized that my walls were not complete yet. I needed to make a castle wall walk or an allure as they're called. And I've made two different kinds of wall walks here. I've made one that has a staircase on it. So that's how you actually get up the wall. And the second piece here, if we were to have these walls back to back, we could have just a second walkway here that doesn't need a staircase. So now you've got a castle wall that you can defend if uh, you're in battle. Okay, so that's the build today. We're gonna make these wall walks or allures and they're actually really simple to make. So let's get right to it. The pieces that you're gonna need for this build are a regular size tongue depressor, or I guess that's kind of a large tongue depressor. Uh, some of these smaller coffee stirring sticks if you have them, or you can just split some of these up. I'm gonna need a one inch wide piece of Dollar Tree foam. I'm gonna need a quarter inch piece. I need a 3 8 inch piece. And then XPS foam, I need a square 3 8 inch piece for some beans. Okay, so we're gonna to need to put some wood grain on our wood strips here. And I'm using my 3D printed wood grain roller. Another, another way to do this would be to just use a wire brush. Uh, you can use the pencil or pen to make the uh, wood grain and then go over it with a wire brush, but this just does it in a few passes here. So I'm just gonna start here and pressing down pretty firmly. I'm gonna go all the way up. And the pieces are gonna curl on me, but that's okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. And we're gonna go over this about four times, two on each side. On the main wooden plank, I'm gonna use this wood plank roller. So that's gonna give me my walkway. And this one hurts when you roll this, so you might want to put a glove on. Okay, and you can see what a good pattern that gives. And that's going to be the walkway. This is actually enough for two walkways. So just using the measurements from the previous build here, I'm just going to cut my pieces. Okay, so let's start gluing these pieces together. I've got the basic frame set up here. It's gonna look something like this. These poles are gonna go here. Uh, let me get the, the main walkway done though. So I'm gonna speed this up for you. I'm just gluing a one of the wood strips to the underside of the walkway, and then I'm just going to assemble the base part. I'm gluing an extension piece here for the walkway and that's where the staircase is going to go. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the easiest way to do this, but I'm going to put in my 45 brace pieces here, 45 degree. And it's a little tricky, but I've got to have it hit the top part and this brace piece in the middle. And then I can glue it on to the end over here. Okay, now we're gonna put in these support pieces here. And this is definitely more like how you would build this in real life. Nice and sturdy. And then one more brace in there, and I think we're good to go. There we go. That looks a lot sturdier. Okay, I'm going to start from scratch and show you how I put this standalone piece together here. This is without the staircase. I'm going to make a few of these. So I've got all the pieces cut out all the little corner pieces. 
and what I'm going to do is start by gluing the main legs on to the two corners. First I'm going to glue one of the wood strips to the underside of the walkway and then I'll go ahead and glue all four of the posts underneath. Now that my pieces are done, I'm going to give these a full coat of Mod Podge and black paint. Okay, so now I'm going to be making the staircase for this walk, this castle walk here. And uh, there's a kind of a cool way to do this with um, tongue depressors and uh, coffee string sticks. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to show you how to make this staircase right here fit on there. So to start, what we're going to do is we're going to divide one of these sticks in half because we can create both sides of the staircase with just one of these tongue depressors. And let's go ahead and, and just cut that in half. And you can freehand that or cut it with the ruler, either way. Okay, that's good. Now we need to put the pattern in here. To do this and I'm going to use my mat right here to do the 45s. I've got my 45 degree line here and all you need to do is it's basically quarter inch increments. So if we're starting at the stop here, we're starting at the top, we'll just go down here and just freehand it about a quarter inch. Same thing here, quarter inch. Okay, that should be pretty good. And if you want, you can use your box cutter to go ahead and cut these little things out, which will take a little while, but it's doable. I've got a bandsaw, so I've got a small blade on there. I'm just gonna go hit the bandsaw and cut these things out real quickly. So you should end up with something like this. And then, uh, you know, our staircase obviously will cut all the pieces and we'll start forming our staircase here. So. Now we've got to texture our coffee sticks. And one easy way to do that is just with anything sharp. Um, this is just a chisel, small chisel. You can make your wood grain in this thing just by passing over it a few times. And you'll probably need about two or three of these for each staircase. And I'm making two. You'll see the wood grain pop out when you paint this. And if I hold this up here, you can see about where I glued the other one. I need enough to glue up underneath the top there and then I'll figure out where to cut it off down here at the bottom. Okay, so once you've cut these staircase pieces to size, you can go ahead and glue them carefully onto the walkway and then we'll add the individual steps. All right, next step here is to coat these with a golden brown, which is, this is a two-step process here. What I'm gonna do is give this, uh, after the Mod Podge and black paint, I'm gonna do uh, the golden brown, probably two coats, and then I'm gonna use an acrylic burnt umber ink on here, which uh, goes on really well. I usually just need one coat, and it gives the perfect wood grain look. So that's the plan here. Just gotta paint these up first with two coats of golden brown. Okay, for the final step here, I've got some burnt umber. This is acrylic ink, so it's super concentrated, and you should only need one coat of this. Key is to spread it out as evenly as you can. And we are done. Thanks again for watching this video. Please hit the like button and send us your comments. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll be back next week with another build or challenge.